how do I list the files in a directory using a C-sharp application? Well, to do this, let me demonstrate it by using a quick console application. All right, now the goal here is to make a quick routine that is going to take in a directory and list all the files within it. So I'm actually going to begin with that routine. What we're going to do is we're going to make a method called list files. So we'll make this a static void method. The name is list files. And as I said at the beginning of this video, we're going to be looking for all the files within a directory. So I'm actually going to take in a type of directory info instead of just using a string name. This actually makes it more convenient and actually makes the method more portable. Now I'm going to be using directory info and file info, so before I go any further, I'm going to add in a using statement for the system.io namespace. Just since again, I'm going to be using these names several times. So now, inside of list files, we need to take in a directory info and then I'll call this parameter simply directory. Now once we have this directory info inside of this method, we're going to use that directory info to get the list of files that it contains. And that list of files actually returns as a file info array. So I'm going to make a new file info array. I'll call this files and I'll set it by running directory.getFiles. Now that I have a file list, I'm simply going to loop through it and show each file as a new line on the console. So I'll make a for loop, and then we'll loop for files.length, so the full length of the array, and then each time we run an iteration, I'll run a console write line that is going to write out the data held within the current file. So that is files sub element i. So that takes care of the list files method. Now all that's left to do is call it from the main method. So in order to have uh, files to list, we actually need to find some folder with files in it. So I'm going to bring up this folder where I have C Python projects. Inside of that I have a mosaic folder and that has a handful of files. This will work great for this example. I'll copy that path and then I'll make a call to our list files method. Now this of course takes in a directory info, not a string, but we can easily turn that string into a directory info by instantiating a new directory info. So if we say new directory info, then we can give a string path. So if we give the path C Python projects mosaic, and that should instantiate a new directory info and pass that on to list files. Once that's done, I'll run console read line to hold up execution and see what the results are. And I will do that as soon as I correct this quick parenthesis here. Now after running the application we can indeed see that there is a few files which match the files seen over here in this folder. So with that, it's going to wrap up this video tip.